Hello everyone, I'm MVL and welcome to my video game pickups for March 2020. As per usual, gameplay footage included for every game on this list. And first up we have... Double Dragon for the NES. This is a beat em up game. Double Dragon is the story of Billy and Jimmy Lee, twin brothers who learn to fight on the cold, tough streets of the city. Their expert knowledge of the martial arts, combined with their street smarts, has made them both formidable fighting machines. But now Billy is faced with his greatest challenge. His girlfriend, Mary Ann, has been kidnapped by the Black Warriors, the savage street gang of the mysterious Shadow Boss. Using whatever weapons come to hand, knives, whips, bats, rocks, oil drums and even dynamite, Billy must pursue the gang through the slums, factories and wooded outskirts of the city to reach the hideout for his final confrontation with the Shadow Boss, his brother Jimmy. That's Double Dragon on the NES. And next up we have Double Dragon Free for the NES. This is a beat em up game. Only one man knows the real story behind Marianne's disappearance and he's dead. Now the Double Dragons must rely on a mysterious fortune teller to locate Marianne and her ransom, the Sacred Stones of Power. With one and two player simultaneous action, you'll fend off vicious street thugs, evil ninja warriors, deadly gladiators, Manchurian barbarians and more. Defeat your most dreaded enemies and out of pure respect they'll join your side, adding their iron claws and Shanghai stars to your all new martial art manoeuvres. If you survive the arcade action, you'll rescue Mary Ann, retain your honour, and discover the truth behind the Sacred Stones. That's Double Dragon Free on the NES. And next up we have... Little Nemo, the Dream Master for the NES. This is a platformer. Little Nemo receives a royal invitation to visit the castle in Slumberland. Is he dreaming? It seems the princess is looking for a new playmate. When he arrives, he is told that King Morpheus has been kidnapped. Nemo sets off on a wild adventure to rescue the good king and restore peace to the land. Anything can happen in this realm of imagination. Little Nemo even learns how to get a ride from the local creatures so he can pass through the roughest parts of Slumberland. This game features spectacular graphics that bring a dream world to life where you can launch a candy attack against the scarier creatures in Slumberland as you rescue the king of good dreams and thwart the master of nightmares. Journey to a land of wonder in Little Nemo, the dream master on the NES. And next up we have McDonaldland for the NES. This is a platformer and is also known as MC Kids Overseas. Meet the MC Kids, Mick and Mac, the coolest kids in McDonaldland. Now the Hamburglar has run off with Ronald's magic bag, the MC Kids need your help to find him. You'll need to move pretty fast to dodge creatures, solve tricky puzzles and explore the secret levels of McDonaldland. If you're going to help the MC Kids track down Hamburglar, you're going to have to make some totally fresh moves of your own. And oh yeah, once you've figured out how to play this game right side up, Try it upside down! This game features over 30 levels that scroll in all directions to run, jump, duck and throw objects in. And 7 worlds to search through where you'll raft across a lava river, skid across an ice bridge or even land on the moon. It also features a 2 player cooperative mode. It's one cool game and two cool kids in McDonaldland on the NES. And next up we have... Mission Impossible for the NES. This is an action-adventure game. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to rescue Dr. O, who has been kidnapped by the Sinister Seven. Also swiped was his computerized military defense system, which the evil thugs have reprogrammed to destroy the world. Now his future, and ultimately Earth's survival, depends on your crack Mission Impossible team to perform a surgical strike and rescue. You must outwit and outshoot notorious villains. These human barracudas and the terrorist army will attack you from every direction, constantly bombarding you with mental and physical twists, from machine gun boat chases to deadly sniper encounters and underground tactical warfare. It'll be the fight of your life. So good luck, and as always, should any of your IM force be caught, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This video will self-destruct in five seconds. That's Mission Impossible for the NES. 
And next up we have Tecmo World Wrestling for the NES. This is a wrestling game. It's your call from the opening bell to the final pin. Select your wrestler and take on any challenge. Every body slam, cobra twist and pile driver brings you closer to victory. Will you be receiving the TWW Championship belt or will you fall to the free count? You can train up before a fight to get ready for the action and throw down inside the squared circle, taking the action to the top rope or outside the ring for some hardcore action. The game includes 10 world-class wrestlers to choose from and 36 wrestling maneuvers and submission holds, including epic finishing moves to pin your opponent down for the count to three. That's Tecmo World Wrestling on the NES. Next up we have... James Bond Jr. for the Super Nintendo. This game is a mixture of action platforming and scrolling shooting sections. With a name like Bond, you know intense action and daring adventure are here. Join James Bond Jr. on several missions to root out and destroy the evil forces of scum. Cross the globe as you battle evil and collect fabulous items that enhance your weapons into an unstoppable arsenal. Take on scores of enemy jets, missile launchers, and robotic devices designed to end your adventure permanently. Do you have what it takes to fight your way to the deadly confrontation with the Scum Lord? The name is Bond. James Bond Jr. That's James Bond Jr. on the Super Nintendo. Next up we have Tetris Attack for the Game Boy. This is a puzzle game, and was originally known as Panel de Pon in Japan, but in a marketing move when the game was brought overseas, the in-game fairy characters were replaced with Yoshi's Island characters and settings, and the name was changed to Tetris Attack despite not being a Tetris game at all. And so the Tetris sensation has landed at Yoshi's Island Kamek and Bowser await to test your dexterity in a demanding race of strategic moves in this exciting new contest. As the stack of perplexing panels rises from the bottom, think fast to counteract the merciless enemy attack dropping in from above. Rapid switches and quick response are the key to the next challenging level. This game features an incredible selection of competitive modes and options which provide escalating action and endless fun. It has all the draw of the classic with a new twist in Tetris Attack on the Game Boy. And next up we have Reservoir Rat for the Game Boy Color. This is a platformer and is also known as Rats Overseas. Your girlfriend just happens to be the daughter of the head of the mob. Marlon the Godfather Mozzarella has dispatched his henchmen to kidnap his Loretta back. So now it's time to put on your shades Pick up your weapon and get your girl back. Reservoir Rat is a tough as nails platform puzzle shoot 'em up with five gang infested worlds and 17 levels per world. With tougher mobsters around every corner and cigar chomping mob bosses to overthrow. It's time to get your revenge in Reservoir Rat on the Game Boy Color. Next up we have Banjo Pilot for the Game Boy Advance. This is a Mario Kart clone. I mean, this is a racing game. Despite the obvious similarities to another kart racing game, Banjo Pilot delivers a fun-filled experience with great graphics on the Game Boy Advance. Not only are there races to test your skill, but the game also features dogfights to test your mettle. The game includes 9 crazy characters to race through 16 worlds from the Banjo universe. Bears no longer need a bird to fly in Banjo Pilot on the Game Boy Advance. Next up we have Psychic Force for the PlayStation 1. This is a fighting game. Eight psychic masters of fire, time, light and gravity enter the mid-air Kakai arena for combat that will blow your mind away. This is a flying 3D maelstrom of death dealing projectile blasts and awesome psychic displays of power. This is levitating close quarter fighting with killer combos. This is next generation 3D combat anime style. The ultimate battle of mind versus matter. You can dominate distant opponents with incredible psychic projectiles, experience pure anime action in a floating 3D arena and go hand to hand for the kill. That's psychic force on the PlayStation 1. Next up we have 
Virtua Cop Elite Edition for the PlayStation 2. This is a collection of light gun games, and is also known as Virtua Cop Rebirth in Japan. It includes Virtua Cop and Virtua Cop 2, combining both of the hugely popular Virtua Cop titles. Virtua Cop Elite Edition brings a huge amount of firepower and gameplay to the PlayStation 2. Featuring over 15 stages through 6 different levels, a 2 player cooperative mode, a training mode, a gallery and a high score ranking table. This surely regains its crown as the king of shooters. That's Virtua Cop Elite Edition on the PlayStation 2. Next up we have the PlayStation Network Power Pack for the PSP. This is a physical collection of formerly digital only games from the PlayStation Network. It includes beats where you can interact with your favourite musical tracks and enjoy an addictive rhythm action game where your music gets the starring role. And Flow, which is the gameplay you are seeing right now, explore the soothing depths of a living underwater environment, discover strange new organisms and embark on a journey of evolution. And finally, Siphon Filter Combat Ops, where you can customise the battleground and objectives, then hunt down your opponents in gripping online-only multiplayer combat. Unfortunately, due to its online dependency, this last game is no longer playable, but the other games still play great. Feel the power of the PlayStation Network with this collection of unique games. In the PlayStation Network Collection Power Pack on the PSP. And next up we have... Silverfall for the PSP. This is a hack and slash action role playing game. Nature or technology. Take sides between the two great powers in a world where the forces of nature and technology are colliding. This game boasts an RPG experience with total freedom on character evolution, where you can take a journey into amazing and beautifully rendered fantasy worlds, including more than 80 character attributes which allow for a high level of customization as you fight your way through 65 creatures and 17 bosses, each with specific strengths and Achilles heels. The game offers constant rewards and active exploration through a vast treasure trove of items to collect and also features multiple gameplay choices, multiplayer and cooperative modes. That's Silverfall on the PSP. And next up we have Space Invaders Evolution for the PSP. This is a shoot 'em up game and is a PSP exclusive. Video game's oldest enemy has evolved. Take on a new game based on the classic and unmatchable Space Invaders, including new enemies, new levels and 100% new gameplay. Using rhythm to attack, use the music tracks to repel waves of alien invasion. This game features a new evolved version of Space Invaders, which is the gameplay you are seeing right now, and also includes the classic game, as well as a head-to-head -head PSP special version. That Space Invaders Evolution on the PSP. Next up we have Alan Wake Limited Collector's Edition for the Xbox 360. This is an action adventure game and is one of my favourite games of the past decade. And although I already own a copy of this game, I couldn't resist picking up this awesome collector's edition. The limited collector's edition includes the game, a collector's book, a bonus disc with behind the scenes video and in-game commentary, and a soundtrack CD. When the wife of best-selling writer Alan Wake disappears on their vacation, his search turns up pages from a thriller he doesn't even remember writing. A dark presence stalks the small town of Bright Falls, pushing Wake to the brink of sanity in his fight to unravel the mystery and save the woman he loves. Part action game, part psychological thriller, Alan Wake is a pulse-pounding thrill ride. In darkness, fight with light in Alan Wake Collector's Edition on the Xbox 360. And next up we have Two Worlds, two disc Collector's Edition for the Xbox 360. This is a fantasy action role-playing game. Another game I already owned a copy of and just added this Collector's Edition to my collection. It includes the game, a tabletop RPG book, and a bonus disc including the original soundtrack. It's also meant to include a world map, but sadly that was missing. 
You are the only person able to unlock the secrets of a dead god's tomb, and all the forces in the land want your help to seize its power. Will you save the world, or destroy it? This game is an adventure for up to 8 players, where you can make spells, ride mounts into battle, wield epic weapons, brew potions, and experience hyper-realistic environments. That's Two Worlds Collector's Edition on the Xbox 360. And finally we have The Last of Us Remastered on the PlayStation 4. This is an action-adventure survival horror game. In a hostile post-pandemic world, Joel and Ellie, brought together by desperate circumstances, must rely on each other to survive a brutal journey across what remains of the USA. This remastered edition features enhanced visuals, allowing you to explore a beautiful, decimated world fully realised with the power of the PlayStation 4, and lets you fight for your survival with a harder difficulty mode. It also includes the Left Behind prequel chapter where you can delve into Ellie's past as well as other bonus content such as behind the scenes and in-game cinematic commentary from the cast and creative director. That's The Last of Us Remastered on the PlayStation 4. And that's it, those are all of my video game pickups for March 2020. If you liked the video, please leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. And if you'd like to, you can also support me through Patreon or YouTube channel membership. Thank you for watching, I've been MVL, and I will catch you next time.